There's apparently only one thing the government doesn't want to know about you, and that is whether or not you're a citizen when it comes time to vote. In a Supreme Court decision today, they overruled an Arizona law that would look at people's citizenship. States cannot demand proof of citizenship from people registering to vote in federal elections. The justices' 7-2 ruling closes the doors on states independently changing the requirements for those using the voter registration form produced under the federal motor voter registration law. Justices Clarence Thomas and Samuel Alito dissented from the court's ruling, and this is what Clarence Thomas said in his dissenting opinion. He said, the Constitution authorizes states to determine the qualifications of voters in federal elections. How about that? He actually read the Constitution which necessarily includes the related power to determine those qualifications are satisfied. Isn't it strange that the only aspect of our life that the government feels that it cannot come after us, not have to know everything about us, is when it comes to producing identification to vote. Now, of course, they can stop people on the streets and demand identification, just like Nazi Germany at any time they want to set up dragnets. And they look at everything that we do online, all of our electronic communications, all of our phone calls, emails. They track where we're going. They extrapolate and data mine that to try to determine what our political beliefs are, what our religious beliefs are, to try to predict what we're going to do. But they do not want to have, under any circumstances, any identification produced at the polling place. Well, we all know why that is. It's all about voter fraud. It's about creating fraudulent elections. There's a lot of ways that they can do it, but the easiest way for them to do it is just to have people show up over and over again and vote, or to have illegal aliens come in and vote, or people who are not in the uh, not registered to vote there. We have in North Carolina, where I'm from, we had voter registrations that had not been purged for years, and they had thousands of dead people voting every election, and they still would not pur purge the polls there. We also have breaking out of California. Uh, toxic shock. Californians are allowed up to 1,000 times more glyphosate in drinking water than is needed to cause breast cancer in women. This is reported by Natural News. Glyphosate is the chemical name of Roundup, the herbicide from Monsanto, and it multiplies the proliferation of breast cancer cells by 500 percent to 1,300 percent, even at exposures of just a few parts per trillion, few parts per trillion. The greatest effect was observed in the parts per billion range, including single-digit parts per billion, such as one parts per billion. California allows 1,000 parts per billion of glyphosate in drinking water. Just truly amazing. Another area of our life where the large companies are allowed to dump any toxic waste that they want to into our drinking water in order to make money in order to dumb down the population as they do with fluoride or in order to slow kill the population whatever their objectives it's amazing what large companies are allowed to do with the blessing of government and yet we see the EPA concerning itself with absurd minutia on the side and telling people that carbon dioxide which we all breathe out is an air pollutant and yet they allow roundup in quantities in, in the water in quantities that are a thousand times greater than those that have been seen to have increased the, the likelihood of breast cancer by five times or uh, ten times. That's what they're looking at between the 500 and 1300 percent. Pro Pure is introducing Pro One, all of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. This is the Pro One by Pro Pure. You wanted it, you got it. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals all in one filter element. It cuts out the acid derivative of fluoride. It is the only one that does it and out of the gates, we have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine.
hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. This is a revolution against the tyrants. They love putting the toxic acid base of fluoride into your water. They love the fact that it's an adjuvant supercharging the trace Prozac in the water and the hormones and the other chemicals. By cutting out fluoride, you cut out the turbocharger in all the poison being artificially introduced into your body. This is what I use. It's a win-win. You get a high-quality product at the lowest price. You support the InfoWar. Get your Pro Pure with the new Pro One filter today at InfoWarStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139.